Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of The Amazing World of James Barrett, where I read my own, my own short story creations. And it's now time to go and read the most recent addition to the folder, Benny the Bus, the first of the transport stories. So yes, here we go. Benny the Bus, a transport story. All the buses at the Sunny Island Depot were very special buses because unlike most buses, they had lives of their own. This is the story of one little bus in particular. This little bus's name was Benny. He was a small single a small blue single decker with a green stripe on either side. He seated up to thirty passengers at a time on his leather seat. His driver, Tony McClure, sat in his cab driving passengers while his conductor, Travis Fisk, sold the tickets to customers. One sunny morning, they were doing their rounds when they were flagged down by a new traveller at the Red Lane bus stop. Pardon me. Hello there, sir, he said politely as he opened his door to let the man on board, to let the man board. Good morning, driver, he said to Tony. Good morning, replied Tony. The man bought a return ticket to the Sunny Island Shopping Centre. That'll be three pounds, please, sir, said Travis. The man paid the three pounds and took his ticket. Thank you, conductor, said the man, as he went to sit down in a window seat, and they set off. Benny was so happy he started to sing his Jolly Days song. The man thought it was a beautiful song and wondered where Benny learnt it. Next stop, Sunny Island Shopping Centre, Travis announced. The man stood up as Benny pulled into the shopping centre bus stop. As he stepped off, he thanked Travis and Tony. As he stepped off into the bus stop, he turned to Benny. Thank you, Benny. I enjoyed my ride, he told him. You're welcome, sir replied Benny, happily as he drove off. That is one very special little bus, he said to himself. As he entered the shopping centre, as Benny made his way to his next customer's destination, he passed one of his fellow buses from the depot, Declan the Double Decker, who honked cheerfully as he saw him passing by, and he tooted back. Benny loved his route because he got to pass all his friends, including Tammy the Taxi, who worked for the taxi service, Aaron the Aeroplane, the fastest flyer in the world, and the pride of Sunny Island Airport, Helen the helicopter, who usually flew high above the island, looking for those in need of help in emergencies. Steve the steam engine, from Sunny, si from Sunny Island Heritage Railway, the only operational steam locomotive on the island. The only stops not on his route were Sunny Island Railway and Sunny Island Port so he never passed his modern-day railway or seaworthy friends. And thus ends the current run of episodes, guys. There will be another episode as soon as I have another story ready to go, but until then... Thanks for watching.